Kim, kind of another grinded out type win, but you guys got three in a row. Just, what do you think was the difference in the second half to pull away from them and, and secure it? Uh, we defended better in that second half. They end up shooting 43, 44% from the field after being after shooting 50 most of the night. So, um, what? No, I, I thought Nick was going to cut me off. Sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I think we just guarded up better and he was able to get whatever we went on the offensive end. We moved the ball pretty nicely in that second half. And then you guys are on track to get TJ back in the next game or two. Obviously, it's, he's got Russ to kick off. It's probably a minute stream, but just where do you think he can help you guys, even in limited capacity? Yeah, I mean, we expect then that um, come out there and find his rhythm, get his legs up under him. You know, it's going to take a couple couple weeks, or it'll take some time, however long it takes, we're we going to support him. Um, but having his presence out there is going to be huge. I'm happy for him. He's been away from the game for so long. So I um, don't want to put too many, too much, you know, too high expectations on him, but, you know, we're excited to have him back. Kevin, you're 44 of your last 64. Do you remember a stretch as far as from the field where you've been this efficient? Yeah. A couple times. Um, I had three, four game stretches where I feel like I made every shot. They come and go. You know what I'm saying? I can't rely on, um, I can't go into games expecting that, you know, if I don't put the work in, prepare the right way, that I'll make every shot. So I can't get comfortable right now that I'm shooting the ball solid. I just got to keep it going, keep, keep preparing the right, right way and keep my mind in the right place. We were talking about it before the last game when you were joking, hey, sometimes you, you can have bad shooting. Uh, nights warming up and start rolling. Is there something consistently in the last few games that you feel when you're getting the ball and you're just putting up shots right now? Oh, I'm just playing carefree basketball. I mean, I think that's uh, that's the best way to play. Sometimes when you want to win too much, you know, you get in your own way, you distract yourself a bit. Um, you worry about the results too much. So I just try to focus on each process, each possession, and also move on. Um, to the next possession, rather, you know, regardless of if it's a, you know, the previous possession is good or bad, I try to move on and keep stacking up good possessions for myself. So, um, you know, I'm trying to stay mentally, uh, you know, you know, above everything and just keep grinding out every single possession. Every rep means something to me, so I got to stick with that. How important has Jacques been in, in? emphasizing the here and now, this game, this possession? Uh, he's been huge, you know, just keeping it simple. Um, we know we have high expectations for our team, but the process is more important than, uh, you know, than the end result. So each day matters, like I just said, and Jock has been preaching that uh, since he got the job. And, you know, as a player, you know, you like to simplify the game. You like to simplify what you're doing, and that's what he's been doing this whole time. And, you know, uh, Guys been learning on the fly, but also picking up things quick and applying it quickly. So um, Josh was doing a great job for us.